You deserve the power of choice when it comes to building your brand new home in 2024. I have the perfect opportunity for you in one of the most desirable areas in Central Florida, which is St. Cloud. Look no further because I got you. What's up, YouTube fam? If you're new to my channel, well then let me introduce myself. My name is Alexis Diaz, co-founder of Evolve Estates Group. I'm Central Florida's real estate advisor and it is my passion to help people evolve in real estate. We go all over Central Florida and surrounding areas to show you what Florida has to offer. We explore new construction, resale homes, investment opportunities, local restaurant shops, and so much more. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notifications so you don't miss my weekly videos. Today we are in St. Cloud, Florida, where I'm going to show you this brand new community built by Jones Homes. The community is called The Reserves in Twin Lakes. It is absolutely stunning. This is gonna be a boutique community, only about 200 homes, with the prices starting only in the $430,000. That is absolutely amazing. This area is literally 20 minutes away from Lake Nona, and you have all the good shops, restaurants, stores, etc. Now, what I'm gonna show you today is their motto. It's called the Tory Pines. It's four bedrooms, four bathrooms, almost 3,500 square feet. Now you can pick a lot, build whichever floor plan they have. They have 13 different floor plans. So we'll talk more about that throughout the tour. Now let's make sure we stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll go over all of the down payment, closing costs, incentives, the schools, A-rated schools. I am super, super excited. So let's begin your real estate evolution tour. All right, so we're starting from the back today because in the front, it's super noisy. There's still constructing and all of that good stuff. So we have retractable uh, sliding doors, which I love. Um, we have one in the family room and one in the kitchen. So you can have it open, you can screen it in. So the cooler days like today, this week is cool in Florida. You can go ahead and leave the doors open, turn off the AC and you have a lot of that, um, that wind and that cool air coming through the home. So we're walking into the family room. All the ceilings on the first floor are 10 foot ceiling and all the doors are eight foot doors and it just feels very very grand in here as you can tell we have an open floor plan so this is the front door right here you have a double door just want to show you you have this nice light of course this is just an upgrade that's just for design but you can do that if you wanted to remember you can customize the interior how you want it which is so nice so again, all of this is just like when you see the brick walls inside, that's just customized and this is the model home. So you have a nice L-shaped um, couch where you have your TV there. So this is probably where your TV will go. 100 inch minimum, you guys know how I feel about that. What's super cool is that this right now, it, the way it shows it's a four bedroom, but you can actually make this into a five bedroom home. So this is the, um, the office slash den area. What I love about it is the farm doors and you have entrance. You have an entrance on the side and this, uh, this way as well. So let's come and take a look. Let me meet you on the other side. All right, hold on. How did I do that? <laughs> it's magic. All right, ready? So come this way 
And that was like a told, you know how like when you laugh and it's just like, wait, I don't sound like that. That sounds totally fake. It didn't feel authentic. So I don't laugh like that, but you know, it's okay. All right, so you have the farm door here as well, which slides. So you have two entrances, which is nice. Come on in, and then this is what they what they have it staged as is an office. I love it. I love the design. I love the wood desk. The only thing what I would do is I would personally like to look outside. So I would have the chair facing this way because I don't want to have my back towards the window. How about you guys? Would you guys, if you if you're gonna use this as a desk as an office? Do you want to look outside or you rather have your back facing the, the window? Let me know. I would love to know. So, of course, this is all customized inserts. Um, they also have like a little refrigerator um, here. If you want like a little bar area, they have a closet in here. So this could be used as a fifth bedroom. Now, let's go meet back in the family room. All right, come on, because we I came out the other way. So. Again, this is a open concept. You have the 10 foot ceilings. You can choose the flooring. You can choose the light fixtures. You can choose the doorknob. You can choose a lot of things that you would like to have in this house if you build from the ground up. This is a massive table. It's a 10 seat table. I love the the size of this because if you don't know, I'm a mom of six children. Yes, six. We have three biological sons, and my husband and I were foster parents, so we adopted a sibling group of three. So we have four boys, two girls, and we are a family of eight. So this would fit us very, very comfortably. Now, you also have this area here where you can, right here you can put wine bottles if you love, you know, if you love drinking wine. This is a nice area too, to just house maybe some buffet style, um, dishware but I love the interior design here it's very very chic so let's walk in this way as you can tell there's windows everywhere so a lot of the natural light is coming through let's talk about this island this is a black quartz countertop which is very very nice goes with the entire theme of the house with the gold outer edges of the light. I love islands because I'm an island girl. I'm from Puerto Rico. I'm also from Dominican Republic and I was born and raised in Staten Island, New York. So when I see islands, it just reminds me of being back home, my family, my children surrounding the island. We're chopping it up in the kitchen, talking about our days, our goals, our affirmations. So this is a very, very nice size island. And what I absolutely love about it is that it has cabinets all throughout the island and drawers. So although the sink is in the island, it does not take away from it at all. So you have this farm style sink with this very nice modern faucet. It doesn't, you guys know that I love my pull, my pull out faucets, but it's okay, faucets. That sounded like so New York, I don't even know, but faucets. And here we go, yep. But this is really nice farm style stainless steel sink. But if you built from the ground up, you can choose the type of sink. If you want it to be ceramic, if you want it to be the stainless steel. So that is totally up to you. As I mentioned, all there's drawers galore in this kitchen and they are all soft clothes. So let's bring you this way. All right, this is perfect. This is perfect for a nice coffee station. You guys know I love my coffee. Um, you can have the nice, me personally, I will have the nice Starbucks cup here because I love the studded Starbucks cups. But now, I don't know, I'm about to get into the Stanley cups as well. I've been seeing those cups and they are very, very, very nice. I love the different colors. But as you can see, they're using this as a coffee station too. Okay, I see you, Jones Holmes. You already know, they knew I was coming. What I love, because I'm gonna say love, because this is this house I love. What I love about this is that it is a gas, natural gas community. And so being from New York, I I was used to cooking with gas. So now in my house in, in Florida, I have electric. So to see that they have a gas stove is absolutely great for me. I feel like you can control the temperature better. I feel like the food comes out better. So that is just my opinion. How about you guys? Do you guys prefer to cook over gas or electric? Let me know in the comments. 
You also have this hood here that goes, that um, vents outside, which is really nice. So this is gonna be considered like a gourmet kitchen. All of the appliances come with this home. They are stainless, uh, stainless steel. <laughs> Samsung stainless steel appliances. I can't talk today. I'm super excited and I'm so excited. I'm like, I get my words all mixed up. You have the microwave over the oven, which is, I love this feature. And like I said, they are all Samsung appliances. The dishwasher is right there. And then you also have this refrigerator, which is actually four doors. Okay, let's open it. You know, when, I, when, I, when I'm showing my homes to my clients, I'm like, let's open up the cabinets, let's open up the drawers, let's open up the closets, because I want you to see if you feel yourself, if you can be in this, in this house, if you see yourself buying this house, right? So you have to open up everything. So let's open up the refrigerator. Hold on, my nails, I think it's from the bottom. There we go. All right, all right, they got some soda, some water. This is really nice, I love drawers. Some people have their refrigerator so organized, it just looks so appealing. But to be honest with you, with the, with six kids, there's no way that I could keep that up. Not, not at all. I remember this one time, I, oh my goodness, I got so many like different baskets and had everything organized. I kid you not, the next day it was, it was, it was trash. I had Kool-Aid stains everywhere in the fridge. I'm like, are you serious right now? So we have the double freezer as well. This is, this is very nice. Okay, so now let's come this way so that I can just show you how big the pantry is. The pantry is a walk-in pantry, very, very nice. They already have some baskets in there. You have more than enough space to put your bulky items on the floor, cases of water, your box goods, your cans goods, and whatever else you have. So I know for a fact that the top cabinets are, an, are extra, but it does come standard with the 42 inch cabinets, okay? So if you wanted to add the extra cabinets on the top, of course, if you're building from the ground up, you can. So these are 42 inch cabinets with the crown molding, but then you have that extra cabinet space on the top. And then you have more counter space here. So this is counter space galore. And what I really like, I like the contrast between this quartz countertops and the island. And they even put the quartz on the backsplash as well. So it just all looks really, really nice. And I love these big jars with the pasta. Oh man, we go through so much pasta and rice in the house. So this is really, this, is, this will come in handy. So this is the kitchen the dining room, the family room, we saw the office. Now let's walk this way where we're gonna have a full bathroom down here. So that's why this, if you wanted to make it into a, um, a bedroom, you can go ahead because there's a full bathroom down here. Now here is gonna be a closet. This closet, right now they have the printer because this is being used as an office because it's a model home. So it's a very, very deep closet you can put all of the all of your storage maybe some cleaning supplies in there but it's deep it goes behind um the stairs as well so that's just a, a a nice um storage space okay now come on let's walk this way so to my left we have the stairs going all the way upstairs and then to my left no well i was at my left so let me look this way to my right we have the stairs going upstairs to my left we have the full bathroom now this full bathroom it is nice you have the you have the single sink with the black quartz countertops with the white cabinets and then you have this massive well it's not massive but it's a very nice size shower um towel up to the ceiling which i always say that that's what needs to be done when builders leave it three quarters of the way it just if it keeps getting wet the uh the paint is gonna peel and it's just not a good look come this way we just have a linen closet here so again, this would be perfect for a five bedroom as well. Um, you could put your towels, your bed sheets, whatever you would like, maybe some games. Now come this way. You also, so, so behind me is the garage. The garage is being used as an office right now. You also have this drop off area as well. And this is, comes with the house and it has the quartz countertops with the cabinet. So you can use this however you see 
fit. Now to my right is where we have the laundry room. So the laundry room actually comes with the sink and it comes with the washer and dryer, which is really nice. There's also a closet in here, which, which is great if you need to hang up stuff that you don't dry. So the laundry room is downstairs with the window in it as well. So let's go upstairs and check out the rest of the house. All right, so coming up the stairs, you see a whole bunch of mirrors behind me that doesn't come with the home. It's just for the decoration in this house. We're in a model home. So this has a loft up here, a very nice space. You can go ahead and use it how they do, where um, it's a table with some art supplies. They have customizable um, shelves. This could be a playroom, whatever fits your family needs. But I love this. I My children, my mother-in-law, got my children into arts and crafts. They, she, every time they go over, she has all of this. She has the little easels with, and these, you can get these at the dollar store now. But let me, let me say the dollar 25 store now, but you know what I mean. So this is super, super cute. So you have four bedrooms up here, and then you actually have three bathrooms up here because the bedroom that we're about to go into now has its own bathroom. So let's go see it. All right, so let's call this bedroom number one. Bedroom number one faces the front of the house. It has two sliding, well, let's say four sliding doors to the closet. So the closet is just as wide and it connects. So it's kind of hard to just tell you, like show you, but let me try my best. Wanna, let me see, can I open it? Yep. All right, so they connect, so let's see. You see? So it's a really, really big closet. Very actually, very nice size. So this is perfect for like maybe the oldest child or if you have someone living with you. Um, this is a room that they have their own bedroom. Um, bedroom. They have their own bathroom. And you have, so you have three smaller windows. You have a large window in here, a lot of natural light. You don't even need the lights on, okay? So you here, it looks like a full size bed. It has end tables. You even have chairs in front. All right. I don't know where you would put the TV though. Maybe you would put the TV here, but I, I feel you would have to get one of those um, anchors, the, the TV anchors that come out so that it's not, you know, one of those really, really small ones, but whatever fits your needs. So let's go check out this bathroom. Oh my goodness. This black and gold decor i absolutely love okay so the bathroom we have the same white quartz countertops with the um we have this kind of like wood sand color cabinet and then we have a shower tub combination with the towel going all the way up to the ceiling we have a window in here we have this nice tiled um this like hexagon tile in here so this is perfect for the oldest child oh you know what i would do because i have so many kids i'd be like the one who has the best grades throughout the year gets this room all right so come on let's keep going because we still have a lot to see I get super excited. I love, 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 love showing you guys houses. I love educating you about the real estate market and what's possible, the down payments and everything in between. Now, this is the St. Cloud area. I col I cover all, I was gonna say I color all of Central Florida. You see, cause I'm looking at the, <laughs> I'm looking at the art supplies. I cover all of Central Florida, including St. Cloud, Ocala, Lake Nona, um, Davenport, Orlando, Lakeland. So if St. Cloud is not the area for you, but you wanna work with me and you wanna live in the Central Florida area, then reach out to me. The best way to reach out to me is my link. It's gonna be in my YouTube and it's gonna be in the description. It's a Calendly link. Just get Schedule some time with me. The reason why I do it like this is because if I'm with clients, I want to give them my undivided attention. And if I'm on the phone with you, I want to give you my undivided attention. If you give me a call, that's fine. My assistant is going to answer and then she's going to go ahead and put you on my calendar either which way, okay? So let's go this way. We're back in the loft. You also have a closet right here, but it's locked. So um, I'm pretty sure that they have maybe some extra supplies in there, but yeah, so it's a double closet. So this is perfect for um, the art supplies, the game boards and all of that good stuff, whatever you're gonna use here. You could use this as a TV room here. They have a TV there. So whatever you wanna do. So come on this way. We have the second bathroom that we're gonna see up here. This is very, very nice. I like the way they do things here because 
the kids could be brushing their teeth while someone is taking a shower or using the bathroom so it's separated so you have a double sink here you have the quartz countertops you have the white cabinets you guys know if you've been following me you know i love when there's drawers in between the cabinets i love it i just love the extra space it just it, it's just it screams me <laughs> um so you have so i love it i just love this bathroom you don't have anything that looks kind of like like cookie cutter right even from the mirrors to the lights i love it so come this way let me just show you real quick and this area is actually a big area for the toilet and the shower so here you have the uh, shower tub combination this beautiful tower going all the way up to the ceiling you have um kind of like a little bench here where you could put all your shampoos and stuff you have this mirror so this is facing the front of the house remember you could either buy an inventory home here which means the designer picked all of the finishes and everything like that so you can't make any changes or you can pick a lot and build one of their floor plans and you can change you can um you can make it either a four bedroom a five bedroom you can somewhat change the structure you can um design the interior the interior yeah you go to the design center you spend a couple of hours there and um they they bring you lunch and you just start picking out everything it gets overwhelming you pick out the knobs you pick out the flooring you pick out the colors you pick out the tiling you pick out the color of the house it is it's so much fun but it's just like oh at the end you're like okay i'm done let's go and i can't wait so come on you also have another closet up here this is a linen closet it's actually a walk-in linen closet more than enough space for like extra pillows blankets towels bed sheets all that good stuff one fun fact about us is that we love blankets my children there's one of my sons he sleeps with no lie he sleeps with like three big quilts um he just loves it when we go to the movies we take him to the movies we go to the studio movie girl i think that's the best movie theater here in the central florida area besides my husband will um uh, oppose on that because he loves the um uh, amc at disney springs but me personally i love studio movie girls it's in kissimmee and the chairs recline you, they bring you um you know you can order food drinks and we we all just roll up in our blankets and sometimes don't tell anybody but sometimes I go to the dollar store and I get candy and I put it in the book bag because why would I want to spend five dollars on a box of candy when I could spend a dollar 25 at the Dollar Tree I'm just saying I know I'm not the only one guys don't judge me this is a judge free zone okay so come this way we have two bedrooms we have one to the left one to the right what's really cool is what comes what comes with the home is the balcony in the front. Now you can add a balcony in the back and I'll show you how that looks, but let's go check out bedroom number two, which faces the front of the house as well. Now this is nice. So this front porch comes with the house. It's not an add-on. Um, I don't know that I would have my smaller children in here, but this is nice maybe for a teenager. My, my kids love to drink, my older kids love to drink coffee, so I could see them just sitting there drinking their coffee, you know, trying to start their day right. So this is bedroom number two, and it has a full-size bed in here. It used to have some end tables. This is a very, very nice size room. You have a full-size dresser here. You can put a TV in here, use this room however you like. This room has carpet, but again, you can customize it so that if you don't want carpet I know I have a lot of clients who do not like carpet and they'd rather have either tile or luxury vinyl planking which is completely fine this is why I love this um, this is why I wanted to show you this builder because you can customize the house to your liking now let's take a look at this closet so this closet is the double sliding doors as well a lot of space what I always say if you want to just kind of like maximize the space you can always just add another one of these on the bottom and then just you know shirts on the top jeans on the bottom what I always say too if you have to bunk the kids this is definitely in a lot of space even if you wanted to do a full over full or twin over twin bunk beds and then you can have one um, shelf for one child and then the second shelf for the other child that's what I do in my house now we're gonna go show you this bedroom over here 
which is adjacent to this bedroom number one. Well, no, this is bedroom number two. This faces the back of the house. Very, very nice. You have the bunk beds, you have the twin over twin. You also have the stairs going up. When I was younger, I remember that I wanted stairs going up to the bunk bed. Um, yeah, I had that for my children at one point in time, but then they were just doing like jumping off of it and it just became a hazard. And I'm just like, no, you know, I, mm -mm. my intentions were great, but you guys are just doing too much. So we ended up having to switch them. Anyways, this, let's check out this closet. This closet, it is humongous. So this is perfect for two kids in this room because it has two closets, but it connects. So it's just like bedroom number one that we saw that had the full bathroom inside of it. So you have this large closet. If you had two children in here, one um, side could be one child, the other side could be the other child. And you still could put a, um, a second shelf in here if they wanted their tops on the uh, first shelf and their jeans on the bottom. This is super cute with all of these books. I love this. I absolutely love it this is a go-to all the places you'll go one of my favorite books as a child and one of my favorite books reading to my kids so this here you actually have sliding doors here but again this is an add-on which is actually very very nice if this is something that you wanted this connects to the master bedroom as well on the other side and this faces the back of the house. So you can have some seating area in here just like this. You have a ceiling fan and you can just relax. We are, we have a beautiful view of the water here and of this water um, and also the pool as well. So this is very, 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 very nice, serene. I would say quiet, but right now they're doing some construction work. So I do not want to lie to you because what you see is what you get with me. I'm very honest, transparent, and I just cut to the chase, all right? So let's go to the master bedroom. And when I tell you, you are not gonna be disappointed. I am very, very excited. So what do you think about this house so far? We are almost at the finish line, but when you see this master bedroom, I think that this is one of the best parts of the house because I feel like the master bedroom has to be up to par because you are paying the mortgage and you deserve a nice space to lay your head. So let's reveal the master bedroom. Welcome to your master bedroom. So to my left and to my right, to my left is the closet. To my right is one of the entries to the bathroom that I'll show you in just a minute. But I wanna just keep moving on and show you this massive master bedroom. So you have a king size bed here. You have a sitting area here as well. There's so much space in here. You have full size dressers on each side that I think are serving as night tables as well. You have a full size dresser on that end. I love this wood beam um, decoration, but again, it doesn't come with the house, but if that's something that you wanted to do, you can go ahead and do it, but I think it'll come out cheaper if you do it um, later after you close. So you have the sliding doors here as well that are gonna lead to the balcony if that's something that you wanna do. Remember, the balcony is not um, included that is an add-on so this house the excuse me the master bedroom faces the back of the house so you have a nice view of the water specifically in this lot right so let's show you this master bathroom i am excited but i want to do a grand reveal welcome to your master bathroom look at this bathroom I love. I love everything about it. I love the, the extended sinks. So you have the two sinks in here, but then you have the, it's not an extended sink, the extended countertop. And then you have this space here where you can put oh, you know, anything you want, some decorative items here. This is absolutely amazing. So you have the two um, cabinets, but then you have two sets of drawers, which is fan, 
fantastic. So if you wanted one and your partner wanted the other one, there you go. You don't have to fight about that. So you, they, this is something so different that I have not seen. So they put this um, backsplash over here, over the sink, all the way up to the ceiling. You have a window in here as well. But even just like the mirrors, the light fixtures, the light in here, this is just so different. I love it. You also have this massive, now this one is massive, step in shower. You have the same tile going all the way up to the top. You have two different, no, you actually have three, three different shower heads. You have one on the top, which is the rainfall. You have one on this wall, and then you have this one as well. Let me go. Wow, this is nice. And so what's so cool about it too is that it has three different, um, I don't even know what these are called. They're not like, what are they called? Like, um, I don't know, just like faucets? Okay, so you have three different, but doesn't sound right. Faucets, I guess. Um, but this is where you can turn it on, turn it off, the temperature and all of that good stuff. So what's nice about it is if you're taking a shower with your partner um, and you, he or she likes hot water and you like warm water or cold water, you guys don't have to fight about that. You have a niche right here, which you could put all of your, um, you know, soaps and things like that. You have a um, window in here as well. So you have two windows. You have a bench, very easy so that you can shave your legs. Very, very nice and spacious. This is a master shower. Oh my goodness, massive master shower. So in here, you also have a separate toilet closet which is actually called a water closet for those that did not know that i didn't know that until i went to uh, europe and it was a water closet i'm like wait what so that's a lot of space here what's cool too if you're building from the ground up you can even like choose your toilets you can choose like the higher toilets and things like that if you wanted a what is it called a bold day that's what it's called oh bidet <laughs> bold day like i, I why was I thinking like bodega? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Hi, Alexis. Okay. You also have a linen closet here. Just has a few shelves where you could put your, um, your towels, bed sheets, and all that good stuff. So now let's go take a look at this closet. I feel so cool doing this. <laughs> I love the grand reveal. Come on in. So this is the master closet. One thing I would tell you though, is that, so this is standard, right? This is what comes with the closet, but I would tell you like, don't have it designed in the design studio because I'm pretty sure that it will be much, much cheaper for you to do it yourself. Like you could go to Ikea, customize it, or you could have like California closets do it. Or if you want to, you can kind of like compare the prices with the design center is, um, is uh, charging and what outside companies are doing. So what's really good too, is that when you go to the design center you pick everything you want you know maybe even you're not gonna keep it right so let's just say okay you know what we're gonna we're gonna customize this closet and all that other stuff you have within a certain amount of time after the design center to be like okay no I definitely want to go I definitely want this I definitely want that because that gives you the time to see what they're charging and what you can go ahead and maybe have someone else do it after you close and it may be a big difference to be very honest with you one thing i would say though is that it may be cheaper to build the pool after but it's so much more convenient to um build the pool during the construction of the home so it may just be worth that premium so of course that's always up to you but there is a lot of space in here i love when i see like the 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 big, I don't even know like if it's a dresser, but then it has like the nice countertop where you could put maybe your watches, the drawers, your jewelry, and all of that good stuff. So this is the master closet and it is master. It's very, very nice size. So this is the, the master bedroom, the master bathroom, the master closet. Tell me what you guys think. Let's go back to the kitchen and chop it up and I'll give you all of the details that you wanna know. All right, we are back in the kitchen. You guys know it's my favorite place to be. So what did you think about this house? Do you love it? Let me know, put it in the comments. I personally love this house. I love this area. We are in St. Cloud 
We're literally 15 minutes away from the Lake Nona. A lot of people want to live in Lake Nona, but honestly, the prices are very, very high. So this builder is Jones Homes, and they actually have a community in Lake Nona, 15 minutes away from here. This same floor plan goes for $1.1 million there. Here it starts in the six. 50s come on now so what i wanted to mention is i kind of want to go over the the square footage what this house offers so this is a four bedroom four bathroom it has a loft it has an office two car garage almost 3500 square feet now you do have the option of making the office a bedroom to make this a five bedroom home now jones home specifically in this community has 13 different floor plans ranging from three bedrooms all the way up to six bedrooms and starting in the 430s. So um, you could either have an inventory home, which basically means is that it's already being built, everything is um, picked out and it's kind of, it's gonna be moving ready and you don't get to pick anything, right? You can, you have that option or you can build from the ground up, you can pick your lot, you can pick which floor plan you want, you can pick the interior, the structure, some structural changes and et cetera. It's a it's a very um, it's a very fun process, but overwhelming. So you have options here. So I love that in this community you can still be 15 minutes away and only ha and buy a house for it in the four hundred thousand dollar range. Okay. So I wanted to let you know just kind of what already comes included in Jones Homes, whether it be this floor plan or any other uh, the floor plans that they have in this community. So I have the sheet here because it's just way too much information. So they come with the brick paver driveway, the eight foot entry doors and the eight foot interior doors. And I absolutely love that because it just makes it feel very, very open and big. So the first floor has 10 foot ceilings. The second floor has nine foot ceilings. What also comes with the home is the front balcony, the back balcony would be an add-on the decorative window seal wood window seals throughout the home you have a tankless gas water heater you have designer towel in main living area so that already comes with the house but if you wanted to upgrade um, you can go ahead and do that as well you have the full Samsung appliance so you have the the stove the dishwasher the um, microwave and the refrigerator okay also the washer and dryer does come with the house as well um, quartz countertops you have the subway black backsplash in the kitchen so this is has the quartz but you do have backsplash that comes with the house which is really nice um, you have the 42 inch upper wood cabinetry with adjustable shelves in choice of colors um, oversized walk-in shower with the in the primary bath quartz countertops in all the baths tile to ceilings in all bathroom shower areas which i showed you all the tile goes all the way up to the ceiling which is very 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 important and i love what they do that and of course you have the laundry room which is oversized it comes with the utility sink and the washer and dry so a lot comes already with the standard price and right now they have um, an incentive where if you're building from the ground up the lots are half off so let's say if you wanted a water lot that was sixty thousand, it would only cost you thirty thousand dollars so the build time in um, this community right now is about seven months which is not bad at all now what I wanted to mention is in this area, you have some really, really nice um, rated schools. So for the elementary, Hickory Tree Elementary School is for um, elementary. Um, Harmony Middle School, which actually has um, culinary and fine arts. And then you have Harmony High School, which, which is very, very nice if you wanna send your child there because it offers AP courses and college dual enrollment options, which is very, 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 very um, useful. Also, what, what I wanted to mention too is that this hits home for me because my one of my sons has autism and they have some specialty schools in the area as well. So if you have a child with special needs, they do have some um, specialty schools in the area. They also have prep schools. They also have charter schools. So there's a lot of different school options here, okay? Um, so like I said, they have homes that are moving ready. They have inventory homes. They have uh, homes to be built. This area, 15 minutes away from Lake Nona. Lake Nona, you're gonna find um, all of the shopping, beautiful uh, and beautiful, just a beautiful area. Um, everything is just like aesthetically appeasing. 
appeasing, 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 <laughs> appeasing. Um, you have some really good restaurants. You have a new Peruvian like gastro bar, which was very, very good. I had um, lunch there a few months back with my husband. Um, you have Sam's Club, Walmart. You have just so much surrounding this area. 192 is not far from here. Down the block, you have um, a Walmart, um, a Walmart, what is it called? Like the neighborhood Walmart, where if you just need to go get some groceries right there. But let me tell you, let me put, let me put you on because you already know I got you. When I tell you the best pizzeria place here in the St. Cloud Lake Nona area is going to be Bella Roma. Oh my goodness. They have the best white pizza ever. When I tell you it is so good, it is delicious. All right. So here, let's just talk really quick about finances. Um, you could do a, a FHA loan here if you're gonna go with the lower priced homes because FHA does have a conforming limit of $472,000. So which gives you a purchase price of around $489,000. So you could essentially um, use FHA on one of those homes. It's a, it'll be a three bedroom, two bath home. Or most likely you're gonna use a conventional loan. Conventional loan, you have different tiers. You have 3%, which is for um, primarily for first time home buyers. If you qualify qualify for that it'll only be three percent of whatever the purchase price is then the next tier from that is five percent five percent um next tier from five percent is ten percent the reason why you pay ten percent let's say if it's going to be a second home you're not going to live in here primarily that would be considered ten percent if you wanted to use this as an investment property or avoid pmi which is private mortgage insurance is going to be twenty percent down as i mentioned the hoa cdd is about 188 dollars per month and the tax rate is 1.25%, which is very, very low compared to Lake Nona, which is almost 2%. Now, I want to bring in Nico, who he specializes in this community. He works for um, Jones Homes, and he'll just kind of give you a little bit of insight of Jones Homes. And if you want to tour this community, let me know. Or um, if you come here without me, just let Nico know that I sent you here and give him my information. And give me a minute. Let me go get him. All right, so I have Nico here who he specializes in this community and uh, he works for Jones Homes. So let's tell everybody like why Jones Homes? You know, I've shown multiple different communities. I'm pretty sure you've worked at different builders as well. So why Jones Homes? Alex, first of all, thank you for coming. I'm really excited to share a few things. Um, usually the top three questions I get is exactly that. Why Jones? Why this area? Why should I buy now? Should I wait? should have done that last year. And those are very honest and real questions that you and I both deal with. When it comes to why Jones Homes, we're a private builder developer. We're not in the stock market. So by design, we'll give the most relevant luxury features in the price of a home. Of course, people can customize and upgrade more if they need to. Secondly, we buy the land, develop and operate internally. So mm -hmm. we control the quality before, during and after the build. And uh, thirdly, our floor plans are relevant for today. We don't recycle from the past and all this fun stuff. We do a lot of market research to make sure we give people what they want today and we don't assume what they want. And when it comes to why here, St. Cloud is growing like crazy. Commercial growth is relentless. The school district is good and you can take advantage of being close to Nona and the Turnpike. Did you see that it was the seventh, fa the fa the seventh fast Absolutely. growing county in the nation? Absolutely. And a lot of it has to do with location. You're 30 minutes away from everything. But now if you wanted to build commercial real estate, you have room, you're still close and you're between the international airport and the Kissimmee airport. So that's one of the reasons for the growth. Mm. So good schools, good location and good businesses coming. And that of course adds value as we know. Absolutely. So I would say even in a couple of years, the equity in this community is just going to be crazy. It's going to skyrocket. Another thing worth mentioning, and of course we love to show you in person, the bones of these homes are the best in the area. So we brought, brought our luxury building uh, requirements that we have as a builder, like 10 foot ceilings and beyond, and we can go that list on a different time, but for an incredible price. So these homes will feel very exotic for the price and you're very close to where you wanna be. Mm, and you say, well, we're about 30 minutes away from Orlando International? Uh, I would say parking lot to parking lot, probably 25 minutes uh, to whichever carry you want to fly. You're about 15 to 16 minutes from Lake Nona and then between the Turnpike, Narcusi and 
417, you can just kind of choose where you want to go. I was just telling them, have you had the pizza at Bella Roma yet? No, I've heard amazing things about Oh it. my goodness. I was just telling them that they have to have the white pizza. It is absolutely amazing. You don't have to tell me twice. I love my carbs more than what I want to do. I know, right? So I was just, I was also letting them know that if they come here without me, just make sure that they absolutely. speak to you, let them know that I sent you 100%. and that you take absolute great care of them, right? Absolutely. I would love to hear what your needs and wants are and we'll definitely take care of you like nobody else. All right. So, well, thank you so much, Nico. Thank you, Stay tuned to my next video. You can watch this next video of another community in St. Cloud. And I am super excited again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Stay tuned.